Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Zombies has been out now for exactly one year, and it's a game that had a lot of changes made to the basic zombies formula. One of the biggest changes made to the game was cutting Juggernaug, and this decision was met by one, community rage, and two, a little bit of community intrigue. It was a controversial decision. One year later though, how did it play out? It goes without saying that Juggernaug is iconic. Every Zombies game begins with two steps, turn of the power, buy Juggernaug. And that's how it worked basically across every single map. It was kind of like a unifying thing across all the maps. They had the same opening objective. Call of Duty Zombies though, is a game that doesn't really have a logo to unite the entire franchise. You could argue though that things that have spanned almost every single map have become iconic symbols of the series. So Zombies is a game that doesn't have a logo, however, you have Juggernaut, which you could argue is, in a way, a stand-in logo for the series. The same also goes for things like the Ray Gun and the Pack-A-Punch. When you see them, you think Zombies. Now when rumors started to circulate a week or two before the game came out that one of Zombies' defining symbols, Juggernaut, was going to be cut, it begs the question, did Zombies just lose part of its identity? Now this wasn't the first time that a Zombies game would ship without Juggernaut. World War II was able to do it and they decided to replace Juggernaut with the armor system. And I would argue the armor system was generally received well. I liked it. If you found yourself in a situation where you were about to go down, well then you had three different armors that could potentially protect you from downing. It was a pretty nice system. Now, Black Ops 4 followed World War II Zombies, so it should have been a smooth transition. We're going from a game without Juggernaut to another game without Juggernaut. If anything, if there was ever an opportune time to cut Jug, this might have just been it. And in spite of that, the community reaction was still negative. I mean, after all, one of our most beloved perks and icon of the series is getting the axe. It was, however, coming from a good place. Jason Blundell had explained to me that they cut Jargonog in an effort to cut back on players having crutch perks. These are perks that you have to buy, and it's automatically going to fill up a perk slot. In theory, by cutting Jargonog, it should then free up a perk slot and allow for more variety in gameplay. But how did that actually work out at launch? So there we were, it was December 12th, 2018. Black Ops 4 had just launched and players were receiving the game. When they loaded it up on their PS4s and Xbox for the first time, their worst nightmares were confirmed. Juggernaut was gone. Cutting Jug was, well, a bit of a disaster at first, I would say. For starters, players only had 150 health. This meant that for the whole game, we would be three hits from death. It's one hit better than I guess the previous Call of Duties when you didn't have Jug. In previous games like Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 and 3, when you didn't have Jug, you were two hits from death. In that game though, you could buy Juggernaut and suddenly you were five hits from death. I would argue to go from three to five is a massive jump. It's maybe not even good enough. The problem was then amplified by the dogs and the tigers. At launch, they were much stronger and they also spawned a lot more frequently. They also are as fast as the player, and this combination meant that dogs and tigers were downing players left and right. You even had instances where people were getting one shot by tigers. Players were outraged. Personally, I found the game almost unplayable in this state. I felt the dogs are overpowered and the lack of health made the game broken. And I almost in a way didn't want to pick up the game. I was so dissatisfied with this game at launch and it purely stemmed from the fact that the dogs were so strong and thus not having Jug really was an issue. The first few days were rough. And many players felt that if you're going to get rid of Jug, you might as well replace it with something that's comparable. World War II did this with the armor, which I would argue is pretty much just as good as Juggernaut. And sure, they gave you one extra hit from your standard two hits from death, but they might as well have not because it didn't really help that much. Sure, players had more perk variety, but who cares about more perk variety when you can't even survive long enough to get the perks? Now this was an issue that really only lasted for day one, two, and maybe three. It was remedied very quickly by Treyarch. 
Jarek had gone in, patched the game, and in doing so, nerfed the dogs and tigers, decreased the spawning frequency of catalyst zombies, and gave these players a health of 200. This meant that at all times you were four hits from death. And I would argue it's not quite Jug, but it's an improvement, and arguably maybe even a fair trade-off. You no longer have to buy Juggernaut, and you always have a large amount of health. You just aren't five hits from death. Instead, you're four hits from death. You know, it balances a little bit. And once these changes were implemented, I felt the game was much more playable. But how did it work out going down the stretch a year later? I think it's human nature to hate change and to hate things that are new. I mean, just look at the comments every time YouTube changes its layout and people lose their shit. So it makes sense that the community would be pretty upset and pretty volatile towards the idea of Jug being cut from zombies. A year later though, how has it actually sat with the community? Personally, I think of all the changes of Black Ops 4 Zombies, cutting Jug was the most controversial of them all. Yet it was also the least consequential, interestingly enough. A year later, I think this is a change that is talked about the least. You know, I asked people what they think of Jug being removed, and a number of people had said, you know, they were upset that they changed the perk system. And I think the perk system is a different beast of its own, but if you separate them into two separate changes, the removal of Juggernaut and the changing of the perks, people are still upset about the perks. But I don't think Jug specifically people are upset about. Like, if the perk system had stayed the same, but just Jug wasn't one of those perks, you basically had four hits like you do now, I don't think people would have been that upset. Personally, for me, when I play Black Ops 4 Zombies, I don't really think about the fact that we don't have Juggernaut. It doesn't really cross my mind. And I guess it's kind of nice. It's one less thing I need to focus on when I'm playing Zombies, and it's one less thing that's repetitive at the start of every game. I also know now that I can use my Specialist if I'm about to go down. This will give me a buff of health, and I have a super powerful weapon in my hand to kill the Zombies. It, in a way, is a little bit of a get-out-of-jail-free card that Juggernaut was never able to be. And I often hang on to my specialist in times of need, especially now that Juggernaut is gone. Now this isn't to say that cutting Jug was a net positive for gameplay overall. In fact, one of the biggest changes that came from cutting Jug was affecting how we get up after we've been revived. It made recoveries a lot easier. It used to be that the worst part of going down was losing your Juggernaut. Your gameplay shift focus shifted. You were no longer trying to beat the round. Now, all that had to be put on hold. You were trying to pick up Juggernaut again. And there was definitely a feeling of insecurity when you go down because you don't have Jug anymore. And that feeling of insecurity was lost in Black Ops 4. You couldn't breathe easy until Juggernaut was back. But now I feel that's gone. I've gone down a million times in previous Zombies games because I'm attempting to recover in Jug. It's one of the riskiest things I think in Zombies. You know, you get up, you've revived, you make a break for Juggernaut and you hope you survive. You know, that risk factor is gone in Black Ops 4 Zombies and it definitely, I think, makes the game easier as a whole. Now, whether or not you think that's a good change or a bad change is entirely up to you. To me, I think it's a fairly neutral change. I think Black Ops 4 is a little bit difficult in other avenues, so maybe scaling it back and making recoveries a little bit easier isn't that bad. And also, nothing is more frustrating than reviving, going to pick up Jug, and then dying as you're trying to get Jug back. So that frustration in Black Ops 4 Zombies is totally gone. And in a way, I'm absolutely okay with it. And that's kind of my decisions with cutting Juggernaut overall. Did Jug need to get cut? I don't think so. I mean, it's nice to have an open perk slot. I will say, in other games, you basically only had three perk slots because you knew that one of them was going to be occupied by Juggernaut. Now we absolutely have four perk slots because we don't need to worry about Jug taking up one of them. So it's like a trade-off. We could take one less hit now in Zombies, but we always have Juggernaut. We don't have to worry about picking it up or saving up money to buy it. You know, remember when you would go down and you didn't have money for Jug? That was always the worst. And you also now have the specialist to get yourself out of any sticky situations. You know, in the past, if you were pinned in a corner, there was no way out. Now, if you have your specialist, you're out of there. So I think it's a little fair. One thing I will say though is Zombies has lost a bit of its identity. Juggernaut in a way was a symbol for the franchise. You know, when you saw Juggernaut, you thought of Call of Duty Zombies. And in a franchise that doesn't actually have a logo to unite everything, it's kind of important. 
I mean, it'd be nice if they had found a way to incorporate Jug into the game somehow. Maybe rename the shield into, like, Juggernog or some nonsense like that. But it's a little bit strange. I went onto Twitter, and it seemed that most people are in agreement with me. A few people had responded saying that they should not have changed the perk system at all, but I meant my question more in the sense of just Juggernog. How do you feel about Juggernog being gone? Imagine the perk system is the same. Didn't change at all. You just no longer have to worry about buying Jug, and you're able to take four hits at all times. I don't think it's that bad. And I think maybe the community backlash was a little bit overblown. People were very upset that Jug was gone. But I think that as Black Ops 4 raged on, it was quickly forgotten. And that could have been for a number of reasons. Black Ops 4 Zombies had plenty of issues, and perhaps people didn't really worry that much about Jug getting cut because there were a million other issues that we needed to take care of, such as the floundering perk system and the fact that the game crashed all the time. So maybe that actually took some heat away from Juggernaut getting so much backlash. Anyway, this video has been a reflection on cutting Juggernaut one year later. What I thought about the change, how I think the community initially reacted, and how that reaction has changed as the time has gone on. I'd like to know what you guys think. Ignoring the change in perk systems, just how do you feel about Juggernaut being cut alone? Do you miss it? Do you want it back in Treyarch's next iteration of Zombies? I'd be curious to know what you guys think about this. I'm going to go though. Have a wonderful day and bye.